it really feels like you've had an intruder in your house. Paul McNamara couldn't believe it when he learned his new Westminster home was being shown on a rental site. CBC News is not showing McNamara's face as he now works undercover. When you see your personal space you know, advertised without your, your permission and, and knowing that it's being used in a scam is, is not a comfortable feeling. The listing featured 30 photos of his three-bedroom, 4,000-square-foot heritage house, all to rent for $2,000 a month. He asked Rentals.ca to take the listing down and filed reports with the New West Police and the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre. When he felt no one was investigating, he emailed the alleged scammer himself. The email was from a Reverend Benjamin William. Uh, some long explanation as to why he can't. Uh, show me the house. He's in California. Uh, a relative or somebody is sick with COVID. In text, the alleged scammer asked for a $1,500 deposit via e-transfer. The CBC contacted the email address that McNamara was communicating with, and a person wrote back saying, I'm not in the state. For interview, you can only drive by the home. The person emailed again, asking the CBC if they'd like more details or pictures of the home. Finally, two days after McNamara made the report, Rentals.ca took the ad down. Uh, you think about over the weekend when he had my house listed for rent. You know, there could be anywhere from five to ten victims looking for a house. In an email, Paul Dannison of Rentals.ca says, We employ a full-time fraud analyst and use AI to detect scams. Dannison says he can't share how potential landlords are vetted because that information could be used in new scams. There are more and more people that are coming forward saying that they've been victimized. In 2022, the Vancouver-based rental platform Live.Rent reported that suspicious listings have nearly tripled from the year before. Kotak says vetting potential landlords isn't rocket science. Making sure that they do a video call with the um, with the uh, the potential renter so they can verify that, that 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 is the exact property that's being listed. And he urges potential renters to do their homework. Make sure you visit the property. Make sure that you do a walkthrough of the property. Never e-transfer any, um, any money. New Westminster police say they have contacted the rentals website and hope they and others understand the need to respond and remove fake ads. Angela Sterrett, CBC News. Vancouver.